how to find living ships using glyphs and coordinates. Hey everyone, this is Cubo and in this video I'm going to show you a simple and easy way to turn this crashed ship into this living ship and also six awesome red and black living ship locations are coming up next if you enjoy this kind of videos press that like button it will help to spread this video to more people and do consider subscribing for more okay the only way to get the living ship is to complete the star birth mission go back through the portal and pick your very first living ship but you have to complete the mission only once and and to get more after that, that's what we're gonna cover today. If you haven't done the mission yet, watch my guide on how to complete it fast and easy with all the tips and tricks. There's gonna be a link in the description popping up right now. Then if you want another one or to replace the one you got, return to this part. Now I'm gonna show you how to get any living ship you want using glyphs. No need to jump galaxies, simple and easy process. So let's start. Step 1 Preparations You will need a portal, so it's better to have a portal base. Just find a portal, place a base computer and a teleporter. Of course you will need one void egg for every ship that you want. And the last thing, you will need 10,000 nanites. Yep. Every living ship that you will want to get will cost you 10,000 nanites. Now, if you want help on how to make nanites fast, there will be a link to a playlist with a couple of videos that will help you with that. So you can watch them after this video. Now you can pick any system that you want and we're gonna need to use that void egg. I always keep a couple in the personal refiner that stops it from activating when I don't want it to be activated. <laughs> I'm sure you know what I mean. So let's take out one, put it in our exosuit. Then to activate it, just pulse around till you get a message anomaly detected, exit pulse. So let's do that. And like in Starbirth mission, there's gonna be a living ship. We're gonna have to talk with it. So let's enter our quick menu on PC, press X. Let's hatch the egg. And it's gonna use our void egg to give us a location of a living ship in this system. But we want to use it in a different system. Just keep in mind, when you go to the log in the options menu, you can see that the Starbirth mission has started. But it's not like the first one, not at all. So what you need to do is just go to the space station. Let's fly on to there. After you land in the space station, go to the left side. It's gonna be a teleporter there, as you already know, in this stage of the game. And we're gonna use it to teleport back to our portal base. Now you don't have to prepare a portal base if you don't have it, you just need to go and find a portal. So this or that you choose. Now I will enter the glyphs for the first one out of six red and black living ships locations that we got for you today. I found them on NMS code and exchange on Reddit. Those are the glyphs. Feel free to go and search for other types if you want after this video, if you don't like the ones I showed you today, but I think they are pretty awesome looking and I'm gonna show you every kind of red and black living ship that you can think of. So stay tuned, let's go. It's in the Euclid galaxy like every living ship I'm gonna show you today. Now we exited the portal and by doing that, we went out of range for this mission. And if we go to the log, we will have the a chance to reset the mission you will see a red wheel that means we can reset it but we won't do it yet now is the part we're gonna go and look for the coordinates don't mind the communication stations that say it doesn't work it does work I will show to you that it works perfectly there are people sometimes they are just trolling or they don't know how to do it that's why I did this video a lot of people asked me to cover this issue and if there is an easy and simple way to do it and this is it no need to jump between galaxies do it more complicated than it already is so i hope this will help you by the way feel free to press like on the video if you like what you see and subscribe if you haven't yet it really does help the channel and all the places i will show you today they are marked already with communication stations or with the save beacon that i placed for easy access now just if this ship will kindly land <laughs> there we go 
okay let's go this is the money time as you can see we got a crashed explorer ship now what you need to do is just to reset the starbirth mission on pc you press the mouse wheel and on consoles i think you need to press on r3 or the right trigger on xbox i think so let's just do it and look at that a red and black awesome living ship just appeared and this is the fastest and easiest way to get whatever living ship you want and if it doesn't work just reload your auto save and try again and it will work now you will have two choices the first one is gonna be to feed it with our 10,000 nanites and get this living ship just prepare to have one spot free to this ship because we can hold only up to six otherwise you're gonna have to swap it with your ship and the second option if you don't like this ship and you regret you can reject this being and get your void egg back so just keep that in mind let's get it i'm gonna feed it with my nanites because i want this red and black living ship so let's interact with this ship and claim it and that's our true form strong red and black colors look at that amazing looking ship she's got a very nice hyperdrive range and the high damage overall very nice stats so let's claim it and add to the collection and let's hop on inside and take a glimpse at the coordinates for you guys those are the coordinates we got five more to check out right after this just look at the interior red and black i think it's the best combination of colors that you can ask for in living ship just look at that this is awesome looks pretty cool now let's check out five more real quick
want to thank everyone for the support. I know I haven't been creating content in the last couple of weeks, but now I'm back and I'm going to be making a lot of videos. Write to me in the comments. I want to know what videos you want me to make. After all, you are my viewers and I'm making content for you guys. So it's good to be back. I missed you all. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. If it did, put a like on it. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for more. I hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one. Bye everyone. Later you guys.